Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to generate uh, an artwork a Gerber file. So we'll go to the manufacture artwork control and you can see the artwork control form. This has got a list of all of our artwork films that we've defined and these are just a combination of layers that we've kind of turned on and on, on or off. Um, these are all the settings defined on each artwork and you can see this is done on an artwork by artwork basis. So these values are changing. It's recommended to kind of have an undefined line width set here as a safeguard just in case you haven't defined any any thicknesses in text or lines that you might want to have in an, in a, in an artwork. The general parameters covers obviously the device types, the units, um, the error actions, the format. So we'll change that to 5 and 5 and then there's also a really really useful function called a prefix and suffix and this gives us the ability to kind of have a, a a, a prefix of a name and then the, the suffix of the issue so when I would actually go and generate the artwork I would get kind of the job name dash bottom dash issue 2. Once that's all done we could just hit on uh, create artwork select the artwork name and then hit create artwork the artwork's then created successfully and then if we go to our kind of job directory let's have a quick look in our artworks folder and there's the job name dash bottom issue and that's the file that you would send off to the fabricator.